Hi, my name is Miroslav Relic, and I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Originally, I am from Croatia, from the same part of the world where Milka Mira Gercic was born and raised. Uh, interestingly enough, I've never actually met Milka in person. I've connected uh, with Milka through her poems about a year ago. And I started reading these poems on Facebook and I got quite puzzled that uh, with, the, with the, how they were written, with lots of love and joy and happiness and sunshine. And at times uh, you could almost feel uh, and touch the stars with your bare hands to quote Milka, some of Milka's poetry. And I got, I got quite uh, interested uh, to get to know uh, who is this wonderful person that's um, vulnerable and strong at the same time, that's inspiring so many people with her poetry. And I actually asked around and I realized that uh, many, many years ago, in the early 90s, so that would be almost 25 uh, years ago, I used to play with Milka's cousin. And I know actually Milka's older, oldest daughter. And then I realized that Milka and her family have suffered a lot during the civil war in Croatia. Milka has lost her husband. Uh, during that war and then in addition in 1995 uh, 200,000 Serbian people like myself and Milka and many other we were forced to flee Croatia to save our lives and I ended up in Canada and Milka ended up in her family her children ended up in Australia so about a year ago when I started reading these beautiful poems I would almost travel uh, by reading her poet, Milka's poetry, travel in time, and I could smell um, the roses, if you will. I could feel the sunshine. I could touch the rocks. Um, and everything that Milka was uh, describing in her poems. And at the same time, I had this immense sense of closure and what was really interesting for me when I was thinking about Milka's work, how Milka has uh, channeled her positive energy and light and um, her vulnerabil vulnerability through her poems. And you know, people, I work as a professional coach and life coach and people often ask about forgiveness and what is forgiveness? And I actually now, when I think about it, I say that forgiveness is really reading Milka's poetry because there's so much life and happiness and joy and just being looking on the bright side of life. And to me, that is really true forgiveness and moving on uh, from where we were and what we have ex experienced to where we are now and where, where we want to be in life. Um, I just want to quote uh, something uh, from uh, Milka's editor, Dragana Chiric, uh, Chatic, forgive, uh, sorry, um, and where Dragana said that there is always summer in her heart. And that's how I see Milka's poetry and Milka's work and there's an immense trust in people, believe in people and Milka celebrates her new country Australia that's very dear in her heart and Milka celebrates life. Uh, and thank you Milka for your work and I look forward to reading your new book and I look forward to reading many many more.